When we feel uncomfortable, insecure, like we don't really want to speak, it will show up in our voice. It will show up in our breathing. Hello and welcome to my video on what to do when you are short of breath whenever you want to speak in front of an audience or just to anybody who wants to listen to you. My name is Sonia Nannan and I'm a voice and stage presence coach and I guide my clients to feel more confident and more comfortable speaking to others. And in this video today, I really want to talk about breathing and what it means to be short of breath or how you can deal with the fact that you are short of breath. Our voice and our breath or the way we breathe, it is an expression of who we are or it is an expression of our emotional state. So when we feel uncomfortable, insecure, feel like we don't really want to speak, it will show up in our voice, it will show up in our breathing, especially if we push ourselves to speak. So let's say you're insecure in a situation, but you push yourself to speak, you will be catching your breath. You will be trying to compensate for something that doesn't feel good because when we feel confident and comfortable and at ease, our breathing is really at a steady pace, at a slow pace, it's relaxed, it's deep. We don't even have to think about it. And if you think of situations where you don't feel stressed when you speak, that is the same thing as well, right? So when you don't feel stressed, you are most likely not running out of breath, right? So when you put yourself in that situation where you're not stressed and you can breathe and you can speak at a steady pace, your breathing is fine, and then imagine to put yourself in that situation where you are out of breath. It is most likely a situation where you don't feel as comfortable. There is some aspect about this speaking or this situation where you speak that is making you uncomfortable. So it's really time well spent to sit down and think about this for a minute. Really think about what is linked to this stress. Who am I talking to? Why are they evoking stress in me? And why do I lose my breath? Why do I feel like I cannot breathe? I cannot take up space when I'm speaking in front of these people. So one thing is to really think about that, to really think, okay, what is making me nervous? Who is making me nervous? And then what is it that you are telling yourself? Because it is most likely not the other people, or maybe it is, but in most situations it's not the others. It's you who is telling yourself that beforehand and you're already getting nervous and you're running out of breath because of that. It really pays to sit down and think about what it is that you are telling yourself about this situation, about yourself as a speaker and about your audience. And the other thing you can do is to start breathing deeply on a regular basis when it's not a high stress situation, when you're not likely to be nervous. You can do that at the supermarket, you can do that in your car, you can do that at home, do that in the office, you can do that, you know, wherever. Throughout the day, take a moment to just breathe. This is really beneficial for your life in general. So start, if, you ha if you're not doing that yet, start doing that now. This is really something you need to practice in your daily life so you can fall back on it in public speaking situations or in situations where you are stressed using your voice, maybe for singing, you know, to really practice breathing deeply, connecting with your body as you breathe, really breathing into your belly and breathing out. You can really practice breathing in through your nose and breathing out from your belly and breathing in through your nose, breathing out from your belly. And the more you practice this, the more you can then, in a situation where you're stressed, do that as well, you know, because you know you've practiced it, you know how it works, and this will also calm you down, but you also need to work on what it is that you're telling yourself and what is causing this stress. Well, the breathing might already help a little, maybe it's enough for you, but usually the fact that we are out of breath or short on breath is linked to something that we are telling ourselves and a limiting belief that we are holding on to. So I wish you a lot of fun with this exploration of finding ways to have more breath, to take up more space, because that is also linked to feeling at ease, breathing, speaking. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel 
and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!